Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. Uh, hit two for two today so far. I uh, hit on uh, both Colazzo winning, and uh, which was which was obvious, and I also picked um, Blair Cobb to win. So I'm uh, two for two today. Uh, we got a good one for you today. We're going to get into the final fight I wanted to break down for the top-ranked card on Saturday, uh, which is already Saturday now. Uh, Jahai Tucker. And Quincy Lavallee, I, I think I'm saying that right. We've seen him a, a bunch of times on, on top run cards. I want to get into that, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie. Uh, follow me at uh, all forms of social media, 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Uh, just $5 a month. Get you all the perks. It gets you the lock of the week. we got another lock coming up now. Uh, Join the Patreon, five dollars a month. It gets you the lock. It gets you all the perks. It gets you the free T-shirt. It gets you every great benefit. Uh, ask the bookie anything. It gets you everything. I'm gonna start a Discord too. I'm gonna invite all of y'all into a Discord. Um, so it's just easier to maintain. We can do live betting. We can do different things like that with the Discord. Um, so make sure to join that. And next week we're starting live streams. Live streams every day, or I don't know if we're gonna do them every day, but we're gonna do close to every day. I'm gonna try to bring you guys. Uh, you can ask me questions. Anything like that. Um, I'm going to break down news, rumors, fights, uh, scouting. You guys let me know what y'all want to talk about, and we will we'll discuss all of it. Um, also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into this fight. Jahai Tucker and Quincy Lavalle. Uh, Jahai Tucker. Good athlete. Good movement. Needs to be busier. He flicks out. Needs to flick out that jab. Boy, he's got a good jab. Flick it out. It's it's quick. It's snappy. Flick it out there. He's got a really good jab. Jahai Tucker has good skills. He's a good athlete. He just hasn't seemed to put it all together. And I I like Jahai Tucker. And I know I picked him to lose, and he got a draw. And you know, I like Jahai Tucker as a prospect. I, I think he needs another camp. I think he needs another team. Uh, but I I think he's a really talented fighter. Uh, he's, he's composed in ex exchanges, and, and, and he's willing to stand in and trade, which is a good thing, and that's going to work out well from this fight because he's the bigger hitter, and Lavalle is bad defensively in exchanges. Uh, this this is a fight that's kind of tailor made. I like the match matching they've done here. Lavalle is a, a, a journeyman. He's been in. He's been in tough. He should go the distance, but this should be fairly easy for Jahai Tucker. Um, he blocks and picks off shots really well. Inside, on the inside, and, and from long range. He's a difficult guy to hit clean. He's got fast speed. He should use the ring, and he doesn't use the ring all that well. He can win this fight from the outside as well. He can outbox. He's really fast. He's lightning quick. He throws nice shots. Uh, you know, lead right hand. He, he, he's quick, quick and twitchy. He's a good athlete. There's a lot to like about him. He's not the biggest hitter, but I think his power is good enough. He avoids shots really well. Yeah, he's a difficult guy to hit when he's moving. The problem is at, at times, like he forgets to move, like he gets too stationary. Like he 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 wants to make the fight more exciting than he needs to. Now, again, not not a huge hitter, but he's got a great pull counter. The, the, the pull counter is really, really sharp. There's a lot to like about him, which is why top rank signed him so early. Remember, in 2020, at like 17 years old, I guess he's about 21 now. He's still super young. He's super raw. Like, just bring him up. Let's not rush him. I think this is a, is a good fight for him at this stage. Look, not everyone's Abdullah Mason. Not everyone's ready at 20 years old, right? And I think he was moved too quickly. They like what they saw in him, and, and there's a lot to like about him. He gets stronger as the fight goes on, which is a good sign. He's he slow, he starts a little slow, and I just want to see him win rounds. Just go out, win rounds, win rounds with the jab, win rounds with your movement, use the ring, hit him with the right hand, hit him with the pull counter, right? Uh, just win rounds, just, and then pick it up, pick it up, and then after you've won some rounds and you're starting to hurt him, then you can start to really bang with him, and you could probably get him out. Good head movement. On the inside, good head movement on the outside when he uses it. He's good off the front foot, but can also stand in and trade. Ideally, what you want him to be is 
a back foot fighter, but he, he's good at all three levels. Like he's just his his skills are really good, but his athleticism and his speed and his twitchiness is really what's going to carry the day for him at the next level because he's going to be at the next level. Um, you know, a lot of times top rank gives these kids this easy diet. They haven't done that with this kid, which is strange to me because he is so young. He's still super young. Yeah, again, he's not Abdullah Mason. I think Abdullah Mason is probably the best prospect in the sport. I think he's a better prospect than Keyshawn Davis. I think he's probably a better prospect. I, I don't know if we're, what we're calling Zanda's eyes at this point. Zanda's eyes is not a prospect. He's a, he's a contender, even though he hasn't beaten a world title, a former world title list, which he will do on a Saturday. Quincy Lavalay, not a bad fighter. Good athlete, mobile, flexible, moves well, is a mover. It's what he is. He's a back foot guy. When he stands in and trades, he's he's not good at it. He's defensively sloppy. His hands are down. He gets hit a lot in exchanges. He gets high hit a lot on the inside. He's not a big hitter on, on the inside, so he's not really going to dent you and slow you down. He's going to lose fights on the inside at high levels. Now, he's going to lose them on the outside, too, against Jai Tucker, but that's that's his strength. His strength is being on the back foot. He's got good skills, and he can last. If he wants to survive, he probably can. He's durable, which is why he's used. He's been in. With really good fighters, I'm gonna pull. He's been in with um, Xander Zayas. He's been in with Troy Isley. So you can see that this is a guy that they use. This is a guy that top rank uses. He he went the distance with Lavalay. He went the distance with Xander Zayas. Eight round distance with with both of those guys. And this fight scheduled for eight rounds. I would imagine this fight's going to go the distance. Lavalay's a uh, he skills, he can survive, he's durable, he's got a good chin, he takes a good shot. He's a boxer mover, decent with decent reflexes and athlete. His hands aren't very fast. He kind of telegraphs his power shots. He shows the shots. He doesn't really have much hand speed or power, and he doesn't really throw in combinations. So it's a safe fight for Jahai Tucker. That should be somewhat of a test that should go the distance. Right, so it's like okay, we want to get him back. We want to build his confidence. We're going to give him a decent fighter, who he should be able to beat at all three distances. Who should stand up? Who should offer some resistance to a degree, and should go the distance to make him work. That's what we're seeing here, and we're going to get to see Jahai Tucker's skills shine here, like we are, and his skills are really good. So it's going to be a good show. I like Jahai Tucker. Let's take a look at how the odds, because this is a decent fight to make money on. What I would do. If I was y'all, what I would advise is I would throw Jahai, whatever my parlay is. And, and it, this is a card that if you wanted to just parlay this card, you could do pretty well. This is the top ranked diets, easy fights. I don't want to say easy fights. So fights they will win. I like Jahai Tucker. I'm, we're going to hedge a little bit. We're going to put 50 on half your bet. So if you normal bets bets $100, take half your money. And put it on Jahai Tucker on the money line. The other half on Jahai Tucker by technical, by, by decision or technical decision. Uh, the money line is minus 50. That's what you should do. That's what you should add to your parlay. It's a great bet. To, it's a great bet to add to your parlay. You can parlay it with Xander Zayas by stoppage. You can parlay it with Xander Zayas for, on the money line. But this is a great fight. It just brings your eyes down a little bit. It's going to hit. And the other half of you bet should go on Jahai Tucker by decision. It's minus 210. I think this is easy money. So a $100 bet is going to make you $28, which is not bad for a fighter who's basically a 12 to 1 favorite. All right, it's 12 to 1 favorite, and you're going to make 280 if he wins on the decision, which he's going to make, you're going to lower it to you know, less than 3 to 1 if he wins by a decision, which almost certainly he's going to win a decision. Like I said, he, he typically goes a distance. He's fighting at 154. He's not at 47 anymore. And Lavalite typically goes the distance. He's gone the distance with bigger hitters with different styles. I would imagine this fight goes a different distance, and I would imagine Tucker wins the decision. So I like Tucker on a money line. I like it a lot. I like Jahai Tucker to go the distance even more. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently bring down 
the house, make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month get you all the perks, get you everything that you might want, get you the Patreon. Uh, it gets you the lock of the week, get you additional prop bets and additional locks, parlays in in. Live fight betting, it gets you everything. Ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap a fight, which a lot of guys do that I have on top of the video on. I will break down the file, show you how to make money on every single fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, remember to follow me on all forms of social media. Smash the like button as well. Uh, it is June 8th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.